We are going to read another superhero story today. The story is called The Astonishing Secret of Awesome Man with Moskowitz, the Awesome Dog. This is a really cool story about Awesome Man, and I want you to listen for a couple things. First, Awesome Man has a secret identity, and the author gives us clues to his secret identity throughout the story. So pay close attention for those clues. Next, earlier this week, we talked about onomatopoeias. Do you remember what an onomatopoeia is? Right, it's a word that represents a sound. Today, when I'm reading the story and you hear an onomatopoeia, I want you to put your fist in the air and yell, onomatopoeia. All right, let's have some fun. The Astonishing Secret of Awesome Man. Hi, I am a superhero. My name is Awesome Man. I have a cape as red as a rocket, a mask as black as midnight, and a style and A on my chest. I'm just basically awesome. I can fly as high as a satellite and as straight as an arrow or through the time barrier and not get dizzy or feel nauseous or smash into things except on purpose. When you are a superhero like me, sometimes you have to smash into things. I can shoot positronic rays out of my eyeballs and I can tell you something. Giant killer robots just hate that stuff. You know what else is totally awesome? My trademark awesome power grip. I can hug a runaway freight train. I can hug jello. Screech! On a monopia. Slurp. On a monopia. I can hug mutant talking jello from beyond the stars. But maybe the most awesome thing about me is my secret identity. Now, this is a total secret, all right. So listen closely because I'm going to whisper it real low. So low that only you and Moskowitz, the awesome dog, will be able to hear me. In real life, I'm... Uh-oh! Here comes Professor Von Evil in his Animatter Slime Bot. Animatter Slime is extra gross. But, okay, check this out. I changed into my secret identity, and the dude just scalooshes right past me. Do you see me? Professor Von Evil doesn't. Then I just sneak up behind him, slap a big old power grip on his pointy head, and scratch on a monopia. The professor gets schooled. But don't think it's non-stop fun and photons being awesome, man. Sometimes it can be a pretty hard, what the heck? Oh, man, it's the flaming eyeball, my arch nemesis. I'm going to tell you my, I mean, I'm going to use my beams to make a positronic force field. Shoot, the eyeball got away. That makes me angry, and you do not want to be there when Awesome Man gets angry. It is not a pretty sight. See, the thing is, I'm super strong. I have to be careful. I can't start hitting stuff or kicking stuff or throwing stuff around, even though that's what I want to do so badly. It might hurt somebody or destroy a city or something. So, 
I fly back to the Fortress of Awesome, deep at the bottom of the deepest, darkest trench under the Arctic Ocean. It's peaceful there, quiet and calm. I can just lie on my bed and chill for a while. I need to get a grip. So that's what I do. I get myself in a ginormous, awesome power grip. It calms me right down so I can think again. And that's when I realize what my problem is. I am almost out of positrons. All this evil fighting can make a superhero tired. Really tired. Pooped. (laughs) I love saying pooped. The thing is, it takes a lot of energy to be awesome, man. To be exact, it takes 7 billion kajillion per nanosecond. But sometimes I get so busy being awesome all the time that I forget. So I call for Moskowitz on our secret frequency. She brings me a thermovascular protein delivery orb straight from the kitchen of the fortress and a little packet of salt. After I'm all calmed down and positronic again, I take off after the flaming eyeball. I fly west, I fly east, I fly eight times around the earth and all the way to the heart of the sun. The flaming eyeball hangs out there sometimes. Then I see him. He goes into the hidden entrance of the secret headquarters of the worldwide wickedness. I hide out there and spy on him. He's chilling with Sister Sinister and the Red Shark. I throw an awesome power grip on all three of them. Give them a little blast of the eye beam. Kick a little bad guy behind. Blast! Onomatopoeia! Then I make a quick getaway to the Fortress of Awesome. When I get there, my secret identity. Mom is waiting for me with a plate of plain old cheddar cheese and crackers and chocolate milk. I'm so happy to see her. I throw a power grip around her, too. She says that feels awesome. Did you guys figure out Awesome Man's secret identity? Yeah, Awesome Man was actually this little boy. Let's go back in the book and see the clues that helped us decide that before the ending, that the little boy was Awesome Man. I'm going to go back all the way to when he's first in his secret identity. We're on this page right here. We might think it's this man because awesome man is a man, not a boy. But look who's right next to the boy. Doesn't that look like Moskowitz? That could have been a clue. And the fact that this boy is smirking kind of gives us a clue that he knows what's going on if i go ahead right here the author says i'm going to tell my mom and he stops but that's the beginning of the word mom would a man call for his mom probably not Now, if we keep on going and he goes to his fortress of awesome, looks like a house. And that bed looks like the bed of a little boy. I thought this page was pretty funny because he called this a positronic, or I'm sorry, a thermovascular protein delivery orb. It's probably just a hard boiled egg, my friends. And then right here, one of the very last clues was Sister Sinister. And we can definitely see that at the end, he has a sister. And a man probably wouldn't have an arch nemesis named Sister Sinister. I hope you guys enjoyed the story of the astonishing secret of Awesome Man.